the latest emulator of Windows 10 Mobile, published by Microsoft a few days back, and features many new changes and apps. First of all, the start screen is the same, but it, its personalization options are much more compared to build 10,052. Moving on to the new apps, the major new app that we have is the new store beta. This new version looks much nicer and cleaner than the previous one, but it lacks a dark theme. You can download movies, apps, games, as well as TV shows from here. This board also has the new office apps as well as the new music and video apps, which we will cover in another video. Finally, in this build, we get the brand new Insider Hub app and it does the exact same thing what it does on the PC. It shows you the latest announcements and that Microsoft needs your feedback. You can also see your Insider stats. Apart from the Insider Hub, we also see a new Get Started app showing some helpful tips and tricks to get your way around Windows 10 Mobile. You can you also have the new Outlook apps which have not been updated since the last Insider Preview build. The phone app has now been updated as well as brings back smart dialing again. It also has a new user interface for calling which looks a lot cleaner than before. The new photos apps has also been updated with a new image pick. Now it's time for the biggest change in this build, the addition of all the settings we ever wanted. First, let's start with the settings which have received a user interface update. Blackberry Saver has seen this update following with VPN, sync your settings, check, your up check for updates is renamed to phone update and gives a new design and at last backup and find my phone have also seen this update. Second. It is time for the new settings brought in this build. In devices, we have a new setting for mouse and trackpad which allows you to change your primary button. In network and wireless, we now have a data usage settings which allows you to see how much data you have consumed and its related settings. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to show either of those for me. In personalization, we have seen every insider's request come to life. You can now set 4 column start screen, bigger device, as well as choose whether the background image should be behind the tiles or full. If you have chosen the full option, you can use the slider to set your transparency from 0 to 255. A new setting added is colors, places the start plus theme setting, giving you ability to choose between a light or dark base and a new selection of 48 accent colors.